and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for October 24. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid asset and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And if you want awesome assets at a super deep discount, there are two humble bundles right now. There's one all about Cindy assets. Personally, I'm a huge fan of their nice low poly style. If you had a ton of packs to make all kinds of games, for example, the Pirate Pack if you want to make Assassin's Creed 4. If you got Battle Royale if you want to make your own PUBG. You can make a management game all about building a very interesting business with this one. Or if you want tons of characters, then pick up this pack and use the modular character system that I made in a previous video. The whole bundle is 97% off for just 25 bucks. So if just one of these looks interesting, then the whole thing is worth it. Same thing for this other bundle. This one is all about tools. For example, you've got motion matching system for Unity. This is a very interesting way of handling animations. You've got a bunch of templates for making a city builder, making one for adult games, some arcade games, and so on. You've got some tools for handling colors or lasers. You've got a bunch of stylized VFX. You've got more templates, pixel characters, eyes, animator, and so on. Again, this one is also a super deep discount. Definitely worth it, even if all you want is just one of them. So check out both bundles with the links in the description. All right, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a very interesting animation pack showcasing Korean martial arts. Now, this is interesting not just because of the animation, this seems to be pretty great for a free animation pack. It's got some very high quality animations. But more interesting is who is the publisher? It's the Korea Culture Information Service Agency. I'm not Korean, but that sounds like an official thing part of the government. This is not the only free pack they have. They have lots of models, buildings, VFX, textures, and so on, all specifically about Korean culture. So this is actually a pretty fascinating thing. Basically, it's a part of the government. I'm guessing the culture ministry or something like that. And they are creating high quality assets and making them free. Basically, I'm assuming to spread the awareness of Korean culture. It's definitely a very interesting idea. So if you'd like to make a Korean game, then check out all the free packs from this publisher. Then for a simple but potentially very useful tool, here is Vector Visualizer. This tool lets you visualize vectors or positions and have some handles for easily moving them. If you have exposed a Vector3 field, you can just click on the button and it will show a handle in the world on that position. So this is the kind of simple tool that is extremely useful for game designers. You can write your scripts and expose a ton of positions, like for some enemy patrol positions, maybe some cutscene start positions, some enemy spawn positions and so on. You expose all those fields and then easily place them using normal handles. I built a tool just like this for a previous video and it was actually quite useful. So if you don't want to have to build yourself, then just go ahead and use this free asset. Next, here's something to polish your transitions. You write a single line of code and it will automatically play a transition animation and at the end of that transition, it will load the final scene. This is much, much better than having a static loading screen or having the screen freeze while loading. With this, it looks really good and makes it very satisfying for the player. This is one of those simple things, but it's also the kind of thing that makes your game feel much more polished. Then if you'd like to make an RTS game, here's a great military vehicles pack. You've got bombers, fighters, trucks, there are helicopters and tanks. So basically all the vehicles you need to make a really nice RTS with a great variety of unit types. These are low poly, so you can very easily recolor them to get different variations, like different colors for different teams. So perhaps if you're following my DOTS RTS course, you can replace those models with these and make a nice custom game. Next, if you're using UI Toolkit, here's a tool for helping you animate elements. Now I've only briefly used UI Toolkit. I use it for making the companion project in my C-Sharp course. I haven't really used it for runtime UI, but from what I've heard, doing animations in that is actually really tricky. So this tool seems potentially quite useful. In the video, they showcase loading an animation editor window, modifying a bunch of parameters with all kinds of animation curves, and playing back a nice, satisfying button animation. So if you're using UI Toolkit and you want to polish your UI, then maybe give this a try. Then if you need some weapons, here is a nice low poly sci-fi pack. You've got two rifles, two canisters, and one grenade. So I can see this being a great starting point for some kind of first-person shooter game. Just get a free enemy pack and you can make something like Doom. You can shoot the canisters to gain health and ammo and shoot all the bad guys. This dev has a mountain of packs, so if you like this style, you can get tons more. Or if you're looking for some VFX, look at this one. It's some really nice slash effects. I'm always a fan of good looking slash effects and these do look great. You've got normal slashes of different colors and then also some special moves. I could see this being great for making a game kind of like Diablo, where you have a class that uses a sword and has a bunch of buffs. This free pack contains 5 VFX and if you want more, the full pack has 22. Next, if you'd like to play around with a modular building system, here are some modular parts for building a dungeon. This includes a bunch of parts, 13 pieces. It includes walls, floors, doorways, pillars, and even some stairs. It's a simple pack, but it definitely has more than enough pieces to make an entire game. If you were to combine this with different lighting effects, you could build a lot of very unique levels. Or here is a nice pack with some sport balls. 
As a kid, one game that I loved playing was The Incredible Machine. Looking at this pack reminded me of that right away. That was a game all about physics, and naturally, different balls have different physics properties. They have different sizes, they fall faster or slower, and they bounce a lot or not much at all. So this pack could be a great starting point for making a game just like that. You just need to get some pipes or platforms, and you can play around with tons of physics. Or of course, just make any kind of sports simulator game. Then for something simple, here are two loader models. One is a forklift and one is something with a bucket. Again, this looks like it would be great to play with in some kind of physics game. Maybe something where the player is in a warehouse and controlling these vehicles, they need to take some pallet and put it somewhere. If you were to make it multiplayer, it could be some nice, fun co-op action. The visuals are bright and cartoony, which would be absolutely perfect for that kind of game. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for October 24. There's links to all in the description. And also check out my own free and on the store. So check out both bundles with the links in the description.